Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm going to go through all of my lipsticks and my lip glosses and we're going to decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to declutter. So I asked on my community page if I should go through them by brand or by color and more people wanted to see it by color which I totally understand so I'm going to go through my whole collection color by color so you can see here I have already started sorting it but I think I'm going to start with my bullet lipsticks and then I'm going to do the liquid lipsticks after that because I'm going to swatch everything on my hand and I think that the liquid lipsticks are a bit harder to remove so it's better if they are the last ones that I'm going to swatch so I would say without further ado let's hop right into the declutter so we are starting with this group of bullet lipsticks. They are more in the warm neutral and also cool toned neutral side. So we just start here. This one here is from Colourpop. It's called Spring Roll and it's the cream formula. I'm just going to start swatching it here. So warm neutrals are not really a good color for me they always don't look good on me so i have a cool undertone and i'm very fair so every lipstick shows up quite strong on me and if it's too warm it just doesn't look good on my skin tone so i'm not going to keep this one the formula is okay but the color is not so i'm going to declutter this one then this one here is the ariel one it's from their disney designer collection so i think it was the first disney collaboration they did and again it's more like a warm peachy neutral one and again the color doesn't look good on me so i'm going to declutter this one as well then this one here is from maybelline it's from their shine brilliant formula i don't know how it's called but the shade is 50 baddest beige and it's a and it's a bit of a glowy formula and it has this peachy neutral tone to it. I like this one here for layering it on top of liquid lipstick, so I'm going to keep this one. Then this one here is from Catrice, it's from their Villains collection and it's in the shade 01. It's a satin lipstick and I really do like the formula of these. It's also more like a peachy nude and this one actually does look good on me. You can see these two are way darker and this one is a bit lighter. So this one looks better on me. So I'm going to keep this one and I really do like this formula. And yes, I really want to keep it. I also do like this lipstick for layering it on top of other lipsticks. So it's actually working quite good for me. So I'm going to keep this one. Then the next one is again from Maybelline. It's called Beige Babe and it's a matte one. And it's also very warm and neutral but it's very light as you can see and I also like to keep this one around for layering it on top of other lipsticks and to just brighten up other lipsticks that I have so I'm going to keep this one I don't use it on its own because it's too light for that but it does look good layered on top of other ones so I'm going to keep it for now then this one here is again from Colourpop it's also the cream formula and it's called what's your sign I think it was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and it's really like a neutral neutral lipstick but neutral means that it's also a bit warmer and it doesn't really look good on me so I never wear this lipstick because I just don't like it on me so I'm also going to declutter this one. Then this one here is from Essence it's from their This Is Me line and it's in the shade 05 Legendary and this one is more like a cool toned one. And as you can see, it's just a tiny bit darker than the one from Colourpop. I bought this because, I don't know, I just want to have a cool tone neutral lipstick once. And I used it once and then never again. So I'm going to declutter this one. The formula is really nice, but I just don't wear it. And then this one here is my only Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. You can see I have worn it a lot because it's totally flat here on the top. And it wasn't when I bought it. So this is the shade Pillow Talk, the original one. Just going to swatch it here. This is more like a rosy nude shade. I could have also swatched it together with my mauves or my pinky neutrals, but 
I don't know, I decided, I thought that it would be more similar to the one from Essence, but it's actually, it's not. So this one here I want to keep because the color is just a bit more on the rosy side, which looks better on me. So I'm going to keep it and to use it, but it's not my favorite, favorite lipstick formula. I feel like this formula is a bit drying on me, so it's not my favorite one, but I think I want to keep it and I want to use it. So these are all my warm neutral shades here and I'm going to keep these four and I'm going to declutter these four here. So the next we do have my pinky neutral shades. So what I wear the most are pinky neutrals and red lipsticks. It's the two categories that I don't know, I feel like the most comfortable in and it's just what I reach for on a daily basis and all the other ones are kind of out of my comfort zone and I just don't use them that much. So this is a category where I know I like a lot of them, but still there are some formulas that I just never reach for because I don't like them. So let's get through this category. So on top I have the more mauve ones and on in the bottom row I have the more pinky ones. So the first one here is from Terra Nature. This is an organic beauty line. I have talked about it in my other videos before. And this one is in the shade 04 T Rose. And it's a beautiful shade. And it's a very comfortable, creamy formula. I really do like this one and I'm going to keep this one. Then the next one is again from Catrice and from their Villains collections in the shade 03. It's the Maleficent one. And it's this beautiful, more pinky, mauve color. I really do like this formula and I also do like this color. So I'm going to keep this one here as well. Then this one here is from Maybelline. It's their Shine Eclat line and it's in the shade 070 Secret Blush. It's the same formula like Baddest Beige and I love it for topping liquid lipstick. So again, I'm going to keep this one here. Then this one here is from Essence. It's their Perfect Shine Lipstick in the shade 05. And this one here, I feel like it's a bit too deep for me because I just never reach for it. So I think I'm going to let this one here go. Then this one here is from Sephora. It's from their Lip Stories line. So it's from the Sephora collection. And it's, the shade is called Sephora Loves New York. So it's the shade number three. And it's a beautiful mauve color. And I really do love this formula. This formula is so, so good. So I would love to pick up some more colors of this formula. And I'm going to keep this one here. Then the next one here is my only Urban Decay lipstick. It's in the shade Naked. It's from the Cream formula. And it's looking a bit more pink than the other ones. It's actually a beautiful color, but I never wear it because I don't like the formula. It also feels a bit dry on my lips. After like one or two hours of wearing it, it's my lips feel really dry. So I just never want to reach for it. So I'm going to declutter this one. Then these two here are from Catrice. They are pretty old. So I just, I'm going to get rid of these because they are so old and I never reach for them. They were beautiful colors and I don't even know if they're still available. I can't read the color on this one here. As you can see, I have almost used this one here up. I loved it back in the day. I use this one here every day. So you can see this one here is a bit more on the pinky side. And this one here is this one here and it's more on the mauve side. They're beautiful, but they are so old and I just don't want to use them anymore. I never reach for them. So I'm going to let them go. So again, I'm going to keep these four in the top row and I'm going to declutter these four in the bottom row. Then next we do have my more pinky corally ones and then also my red ones down here. So let's start here. This one is from Chanel. It's a very old one in my collection. It's from their Rouge Coco Shine line and it's in the shade 91 Bohème. I used to love this lipstick and I used to wear it all the time. It's more of a sheer one. And I don't know, I just don't wear sheer lipsticks like this anymore. The color is beautiful, but something about the scent of it reminds me of, I don't know, something in my past and I just don't want to be reminded by scent. So I just don't want to use it anymore because of the scent. So I'm going to give this one here away. 
Then this one here is from e.l.f. It's a pretty new one. It's from, it's their Sheer Slick Lipstick in the shade Grapefruit. I do absolutely love this formula and I want to pick up more of these. This is also more of a sheer formula. It's a pinky one. It's a bit more on the neony side, which is not my favorite, but I'm going to still keep it because the formula is just so, so good and I want to keep using it. Then the next two are from Essence. It's they are from their My Power Is line. This one here is in the shade Air and this is Water. So this is a very bright pink one. And it's more like a matte formula. And then this one here is a very bright corally pink one. So you can see they are both very intense and I never wear colors like this in a formula like this. So when I want to wear bright colors like these, I would always go for a liquid lipstick and never for a bullet lipstick. So I'm going to pass these two on to someone else because I have barely used them. So this lipstick here is from Gula and this was one of my favorite lipsticks. This one here is also more of a sheer formula and it's a bright red lipstick. It's so beautiful, but I never wear it because again, the scent just reminds me of past days and I don't like, I have a pretty strong scent memory and I just don't, I don't know, I never want to use it. So I'm going to declutter this one as well. So this one here has a lot of like sentimental value to me, but I'm more the kind of person that wants to let go of things and just keeps, I don't know, things that spark joy and nothing that reminds me of anything that is not truly positive. So I'm going to give this one here away. Now we're venturing more into the red lipsticks. This one here is a matte lipstick from Essence. It's in the shade 05. I don't know what it's called. Ready or not. And it's like it said, a matte red lipstick. I don't know if I want to keep it. So the truth is I never wear red lipsticks in a bullet form, but maybe I want to keep one or two. So I think I'm going to keep this one here. This one here is from Sleek. It's in the shade Vixen. It's a sheen lipstick. And it's also a very beautiful red one. So I love pairing this one with this one. So if I keep this, I also want to keep this one here. Then these two I already know that I want to get rid of. This one here, it's the same reason like with the other Chanel and the Gula lipstick. It just has a very strong scent and it reminds me of something and I don't want to be reminded. So I'm also going to get rid of this one here. And again, I never wear red in a bullet lipstick form anyway, so I don't have to hang on to this one. This one is from the Rouge Coco line and it's in the shade 19, Gabrielle. And then this one here is another one from the Disney Villains collection from Catrice. It's in the shade 02, Evil Queen. It's the red one. And it's in this lovely matte formula, but I never wear it. And I think I'm never going to wear it. You can see this one is just a tiny bit lighter and brighter. So I would go for this one over this one. So I'm going to give this one to someone else. And because it's so new and it's from the Disney line, I think someone else would really like it, so I'm going to give it away. So I already knew that I wouldn't keep a lot of these lipsticks in this category, so I'm going to give away six and I'm going to keep three. Now these here are all my lip glosses and I thought we'd just go through them very quickly because I'm not going to swatch all of them for you today because it would get, a, you know, very sticky. So I just run through them because I already know what I want to keep and what not, so this one here was a limited edition from Essence, I think, yes, it's the Gingerbread Lip Balm in the shade 01. And it's very pink and it kind of stains the lips, which I do enjoy. And the formula is quite nice in this one and it smells so lovely like gingerbread. So I'm going to keep this one here around and it's in this very cute packaging. Then I do have one lip gloss from Fenty, it's in my project pen, so I'm not going to show it to you here because otherwise it would be a bit of a spoiler, so I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to use it up in my project pen. Then I do want to get rid of these two here, they are both kind of doing the same thing and not doing the same thing, so this one here is from Makeup Revolution, it's the Pout Bomb in the shade Candy and this one is from Trended Up, it's the High Volume Lip Plumper. 
Both of them claim that they are plumping your lips, but they both do nothing and they are tingling and they don't plump. So what's the point in that? I don't like these tingling lip glosses and it's not even doing anything. So I'm going to declutter both of them. Then these two here were both limited edition. This one is from Essence, this one is from Catrice. They were both like a New Year's Eve limited edition thing. This is the Good Luck Charm for Joy Sparkly Lip Gloss. It's beautiful. It shifts exactly like the colors you can see here in the packaging. So it shifts from a pink to a very light golden shade. It's very beautiful and it's sparkly. Okay, I'm going to swatch this one here for you. Just because it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can actually see the shift. But it's very beautiful, it's very sheer and then it has a lot of sparkle in it. So I'm going to keep this one here because I don't have a lot of lip glosses with sparkle in them and I do really like this one. This one here, on the other hand, doesn't do anything. It's from the Caviar Gouge line, I don't know how to say it right. It's also like a volumizing lip boost and it's the worst lip gloss that I've ever tried. It doesn't do anything, it isn't even really shiny, so... I don't know, so this one here doesn't really do anything, it's not moisturizing, it's not really shiny, so what's the point in this one? So I'm going to declutter this one. Then this one here from Chanel is so old that I just don't feel good in like using it. So this one here is just too old, it just has to go because I have it for over, I don't even want to say the years I have it but for a very, very long time, so I would say it's time to let this one here go. Then this one here from Essence, it's the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. It's in this beautiful orangey shade and this one is just, I don't know, it feels very heavy and very thick on the lips and I don't like that, so I'm going to declutter this one. The color is beautiful and it looks beautiful, but I just don't like the feel of it on my lips. Then this one here is a lip oil from Colourpop. You can't see anything on it. Everything has worn off that was on it. It was from the Wild Nothing line, I think. It's their Lux lip oil in the shade Bangle. And I have used up maybe half of it already. So I'm going to keep this one here. This is a very thin formula and I don't know, you have to reapply it very, very frequently and it's not as moisturizing as a lip gloss. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it up, but this isn't the formula that I would repurchase. Then these NYX butter glosses here are kind of my favorite lip gloss formula. As you can see, I have a lot of them. So this one here is Madeleine, this is Creme Brulee, this is Tiramisu, Sorbet, Apple Crisp, and this one here is called Red Velvet. I love these lip glosses and I use them all the time. So I'm going to keep all of them except for this one here. This one here I'm going to declutter just because it's too dark and I never reach for a dark red lip gloss like this. The other ones are perfect for me and I'm going to keep them. This one I'm going to declutter. So I'm going to declutter these six here and I'm going to keep these ones here. They are eight. I do have another lip gloss that I couldn't find when I was looking for all of my lip glosses. So it must be in one of my bags. It's from Beauty Bay. It's in the shade Petal, I think. It's a pink lip gloss and it's also a lovely formula. So I'm also going to keep that one. So now we are going to continue with my liquid lipsticks, which are the lipsticks that I use the most. I love liquid lipsticks. I use them basically every time you use a lipstick. So it's very rare that I reach for bullet lipsticks if I can reach for a liquid lipstick. So I have a lot more liquid lipsticks than I have bullet lipsticks. And I think I'm going to keep more of them than of the bullet ones. So I'm going to go through them by color. So we are starting with warm neutrals and then we are going into the more pinky neutral side, then mauves and then corals, oranges and then reds. So let's start here. I forgot that I have this one here from Colourpop, so this is actually more like a bullet lipstick. It's a lippy stick in the shade O Snap and it's a matte one. And I rarely ever use it, but I still want to keep it around. So it has this very neutrally, almost cool toned brown color to it. So I'm going to keep it for now. 
So I'm just going to zoom you in a bit more. This one here is from Dose of Colors. I've just recently tried my first Dose of Colors liquid lipstick and I really enjoyed it. It was a red one and then I also wanted to get a nude one. This one here is in the shade Bear With Me and it's kind of a peachy nude on me, which I do like, but I would love to get also something that is a bit more on the pinky nude side. The formula on these is really, really beautiful and I really, really like it. It reminds me a lot of the Jeffree Star formula that I don't want to buy anymore and I don't want to support anymore. So it's great to have kind of a formula dupe for that. And I just wish that I could get a more pinky nude color because I haven't found one. Everything that I found was a bit more on the mauve side or on the even darker warm brown side. So this one was the best one for me. So maybe they come out with something that is a bit more on the pinky side and then I will definitely pick it up. So I'm going to keep this one. It's a beautiful everyday shade for me. Then I've tried some liquid lipsticks from Morphe and I was very impressed with them. This one here is Virgin. It's a very light and beautiful everyday color as well. It's more warm toned than anything else but you can see that the one from dose of colors is more of a peachy one and this one is more of a true warm toned neutral shade then the next one is again from morphe it's called brunch this one here is very warm so this shade actually doesn't look good on me so i think that i'm going to part with this one here so this one here is the shade Brunch and this shade really doesn't look good on me. So I think I'm going to declutter this one here because I rarely ever reach for a shade like this. This is just, it's so warm tone, it's almost like an orangey nude color and these shades just doesn't look good on me. You can see side by side, this one here from Dose of Colors now looks a lot like a pinky nude. But it was a peachy nude before and this one here is so orangey, warm toned, almost like a burnt sienna color. And this just doesn't look good on me, so I'm going to declutter this one. Then this one here is from Colourpop, it's their Ultra Matte Lip. And it's in the shade Gingham and I don't like these liquid lipsticks from Colourpop. I don't like the formula, they are very drying and I don't know. I just never reach for them because the formula is really not good. The color is actually quite beautiful. It's also not the best looking on me, but I would keep it around if I would like the formula, but I don't like the formula, so I'm going to declutter this one. Then this one here is from NYX. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream. I do love this formula, especially for an easy everyday lipstick. I love to reach for them. They're not super, super long lasting, but they wear off so naturally and beautiful and they are so lightweight and you almost don't feel them on the lips and they stay put and I love them. This color though is not really good for me. You can see it's a bit similar to the one from Morphe that I decluttered. So these two look a bit similar in the undertone. This one is in the shade Stockholm and I just never reach for it because the color doesn't look good on me. So I'm going to declutter this one here. Then this is from Ofra, it's their long lasting liquid lipstick. This is actually my favorite liquid lipstick formula. I love it so much, I have so many from them, I want to get even more because I just always want to reach for them. So if I have the choice and if I have the color that I want, I always reach for the one from Ofra because the formula is so lovely, it's so lightweight. And it has this moussey texture, so it's so easy to apply it. Never, you know, when liquid lipsticks are too liquid when you apply them, it sometimes is so hard to get a crisp line. And I don't know, sometimes they dry too fast or not fast enough. And I think this formula is just perfection to me. It has a lovely vanilla scent that I absolutely adore. And I just love these. This one here is in the shade Sao Paulo. And I would say that if it wouldn't be from Ofra, I would definitely declutter this one because the color isn't perfect for me. But I want to keep it because it's from Ofra and if I ever, ever, ever want to have a warm toned neutral like this, I would reach for this one. And I do actually like mixing it with other liquid lipsticks. So these are all my more warm toned neutrals and I'm going to keep this one here. 
So I'm going to keep D3 here and I'm going to declutter D3 here. So the next ones are more of like my pinky and cool toned neutrals. So I would say let's just start with the next one. It's also a soft matte lip cream. This is my favorite color of these. It's in the shade Zurich. And it's a beautiful pinky color. I wear it all of the time. I do really love it. It's a bit more on the sheer side when you first apply it, but you can build it up. It's so beautiful. I love this color and I love this formula, so I'm going to keep this one here. I think it's almost used up, so I would definitely repurchase this one. Then this one here from Dominic Cosmetics, it's in the shade Babe. And the color is so beautiful and so perfect for me. But the formula is so thick and goopy that I never want to wear it because my lips look like I'm 100 years old and I don't like this look on me. So maybe this is the right one for you, but for me it just is too heavy and too thick and too drying on my lips. So I'm going to declutter this one. Then this one here is from Catrice. It's their Matte Pro Ink Non-Transfer Liquid Lipstick. This one here is in the shade 040 Braveness Wins and this formula is awful. The colors are so beautiful. I have more than one of these and it looks so beautiful when you first apply it and then it dries down and it looks so dry and crusty and it wears off in the most awful way and no, it just no, 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 no. I never ever want to reach for it again so I'm going to declutter this one. This one here is again from Ofra. It's in the shade Nude Potion. It's a beautiful, extremely light pinky nude and I love to mix it together with other liquid lipsticks. It's a bit too light for me to wear it on its own, but I love mixing it. And it's a beautiful, very neutrally pinky shade. This one here is kind of a no-name liquid lipstick. I've gotten it when I bought something at a shop opening from Notino. It's an online beauty retailer and they have a shop in Vienna now. And when I purchased something there at their shop opening, I've gotten this one here for free. It's the Kiss Proof Matte Lipstick, but it's no brand, basically. And I think it's in the shade Valentine's Taupe. So it's a very beautiful, very light, mauve color, and the formula is actually very good. So I do like this one here a lot, and I'm going to keep this one. Then I have this one here from Ofra again. It's in the shade Manila. It's on me, this one here is kind of a dark brown nude. And I know that on other people it's just a regular, beautiful, cool toned, neutral shade. It's a beautiful shade and if I ever want to wear a, for me, vampy brown lipstick, it's this one here. So I'm going to keep this one here as well. Then this one here is from e.l.f. I've just recently gotten it and I've tried it. It's the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Blushing Rose and this formula is awful. It's almost like the Catrice one. It looks beautiful at first and then you, I don't know. It's so drying and it looks so, so crusty on the lips and your lips look so dry. And so it's not my favorite look in the liquid lipstick. So I'm going to declutter this one. This one here I've gotten from a friend. It's from L'Oreal. It's an ultra matte liquid lipstick from the Le Macaron line. Here's the shade. It's 834 infinite spice and this one here i can see that it has separated and it's not looking really good so i don't want to swatch it on my hand anymore i know that the color is not for me so i'm going to declutter this one because i think it's just a bit old and i know because it has separated in the bottle i just don't want to use it so i'm going to declutter this one here so these are all my pinky neutral ones so i'm going to declutter four and i'm going to keep four so the next are all of my mauve tones and we're starting with Catrice again. This one here is in the shade Confidence is Key 020. Again, the formula is not for me, I don't like it. So again, the shade is lovely, the formula is not, so I'm going to declutter this one. You know, it's so bad that I don't even want to wear it at home or just when, I don't know, I don't care about how it wears off. I just never want to reach for them. It's just... No, the quality is just not good, so I'm going to declutter this one. The next, this one here is from Pixie. I've just recently tried it. It's in the shade Really Rose, and the formula is really nice, but the color, this one here, I don't know, 
is just a bit too dark on me. So with mauves, I have to be a bit careful. They don't always look the best on me. I know they suit a lot of different skin tones, but on me, they're almost always a bit too dark. So I'm going to declutter this one because it's too dark, it's not my favorite shade, but the formula is really nice. Then this one here is from Wet n Wild. I do actually really like this formula. The only thing that I don't like about them is that I feel like they don't wear off the most beautiful. So I don't really like the way that they wear off. They sometimes look a bit, I don't know, doesn't look really good. And when I reapply it, it looks a bit crusty. The color is a very vampy, cool toned mauve and it's a very special color and I wanna keep it around. So this shade is called Rebel Rose and you can see it here. So I've just reorganized them a bit. I think this is the way I wanna swatch them. This one here is from Morphe again, it's called Unsettled. It's a very dark mauve one and this has almost like you know mauves can have sometimes a bit of a warmer or more of a cooler undertone and the cooler undertone looks better on me the warmer undertone doesn't look that good on me so i'm going to declutter this one here this one is again called unsettled it's a beautiful formula i love the morphe liquid lipstick formula but the color just doesn't look good on me so i'm going to declutter this one this one is from ofra it's called duchess and it's again a very dark mauve color this one here is even darker than rebel rose and it's again more on the cool tone side so if i ever want to have a very dark cool toned vampy mauve color i'm going to reach for this one here so i'm going to keep this one around you can see i just love the ofra formula so so much that i just don't want to part with any of them this one here is laguna beach it's one of the shades I think it's one of my most reached for shades because it's just so easy to wear for me. It's more like a pinky mauve color. It's a bit darker than I, than I would wish for. I wish that I would have this color just in a bit of a lighter version. Then it would be absolutely perfect for me, but I still use it all the time. And I just mix in some of the lighter shades that I have to brighten it up a bit. And it's a beautiful one, so I'm going to keep it. This one here is from Colourpop, it's the Ultra Satin line and I think that I prefer this formula over the Ultra Matte one but I still never really wear them. So I'm going to part with this one here. It's in the shade Canoodle and it's kind of a beautiful shade. It's almost the same as this one here that was from Pixie, I think. And it's actually a really beautiful shade but I just never reach for it so I'm going to declutter this one. And then this one here from Morphe is called Schoolgirl. This is my favorite shade from the Morphe liquid lipsticks that I have in my collection. And it's a bit lighter and a bit more neutral. And this is a beautiful everyday shade for me. So I'm going to keep this one here. So I'm going to keep four and I'm going to declutter four. So the next group of lipsticks is more on the peachy and then corally and then orangey side. So we're starting here with the most peachy one. This one here is from Wet n Wild again. It's their Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in the shade Nudist Peach. And as mentioned before, I do like this formula. I don't like how it wears off and I don't like how it looks when I reapply it. So I just try to only wear it when I know that I don't have to reapply it too much. This is actually a very beautiful, very, very light peachy color. And it's very unique in my collection, so I like to keep this one here around, so I'm going to keep it. Then the next one is from Ofra, it's called Cocos Island. I love this color so much. Such a beautiful, very, very light, corally color. It looks so lovely. I especially love it in the spring and summer time. It's so fun and so bright, and, and it's really light enough and bright enough for me. So it's a beautiful tone and it's a fair girl's dream. So I'm going to keep this one. This one here is from Essence. It's the Stay 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this one here is in the shade Down to Earth. The color is actually very beautiful, but the formula is like the one from Catrice. It's just not good looking on me. 
it looks very dry and it wears off in a very weird way and it just doesn't look good after a very short amount of time so the color is so beautiful but I just don't want to keep it around so I'm going to declutter it then the next ones are very bright corally shades this one is from Colourpop and it's their ultra matte lip in the shade controller out of all of the liquid lipsticks that I have from Colourpop this is my favorite one I love this very bright almost neony corally color and I want to swatch the one from Ofra next to it because if they're very close to each other, I'm going to only keep the one from Ofra. This one here is called Sunset Beach. It's also very bright, almost neony, corally color. As you can see, they are very close to each other. Hmm. Do I want to keep both of them? Hmm. I actually don't know. I mean, they are so bright and so fun for the summertime, but I don't wear a color like this that much that I have to have two of them I think so I actually don't know I think I'm going to keep the one from Ofra and I'm going to give the one from Colourpop away then this one here is the ultra satin lip from Colourpop it was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights it's in the shade Revere I know if you say it like that it's a orange one and this is actually the only true orange that I have so I think I'm going to keep it just in case that I ever want to wear an orange lipstick so orange doesn't really look good on me so I rarely ever reach for orange so I think to have one maybe not in like my main lipstick container but maybe more in a backup box if I ever ever want to reach for an orange I do have one so I'm going to keep it so in this category I only got rid of two and I'm going to keep four. So then for red lipsticks I do have three different categories. I have the more pinky reds, then I have the more blue undertoned reds and then I have the more orange undertone reds. So we are starting with the more pinky reds and I do also have two pink liquid lipsticks. So I want to show you the pinks and then next to them the pinky toned reds. This is my favorite kind of bright color category I love pinky toned red lipsticks I love them so so much I wear them the most if I ever reach for a color that is not like a neutral color so this is kind of my favorite lipstick color if I have to choose a color then let's start with the NYX one it's a soft matte lip cream it's in the shade Antwerp and this is a very beautiful very bright pink color Again, love this formula, love this shade. I'm going to keep it. Then next we have London Fog from Colourpop. It's the ultra satin lip. It's more of a darker pink. I don't like the formula of these. I have mentioned it before. They don't last very long and I don't know. But even if it's not my favorite formula, I don't have a lot of pink, so I'm going to keep this one around. Then this one here is from Colourpop. It's their Lux Liquid Lip. It's from the Disney Designer Collection and it's in the shade Prince Philip. This is a very beautiful shade, but this formula is really not for me because this wears off so fast, so it's really not long lasting. It's it, I don't know, I feel like it slides around on my lips and it never wanna stays put. So the color is beautiful, very fun and very bright, but the formula is not for me, so I'm going to declutter this one. This one here is from Dose of Colors. It's the shade Strawberry Pop and this is one of my favorite, favorite colors. The only thing that I don't like about these liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors is that I feel like their doe foot applicator is just a bit too fuzzy and you can't really get a very sharp line so i always struggle with this one to create a sharp lipstick line the shade is perfection to me it's the most beautiful pink toned red it's so beautiful i love it in the summertime i love it in the springtime i love it every day it's so beautiful it lasts a good amount of time, you can reapply it, it looks beautiful and the shade is just so gorgeous. So the 
only thing that I would change about these is the doe foot applicator. But other than that, I really, really like this and the color is just so perfect for me. Then this one here is my favorite color from Ofra. It's in the shade Rendezvous. It's the most beautiful light and bright pinky red color. It's so light that it's light enough for me and it looks so fresh. It makes me look so awake and bright and it's just this beautiful magical tone. So if you like pink toned reds and more lighter reds, this one here is so, so beautiful. I would highly recommend it. It's my favorite one and I love it so, so much. So definitely a keeper. This one here is pretty new to me. It's from NYX and it's in the shade Amsterdam. And this is a beautiful bright red. It's not on the pinky side. It's just a bright light red and it's so beautiful. It looks again so fresh on me and I just love when I can find a light red shade because Everything shows up so deep on me because I'm so fair. So sometimes it's hard to find a good light color that doesn't look too vampy and too dark immediately. So this one here is gorgeous. Love this formula, going to keep this one. Then this one here is again from Essence. It's in the shade Mad About You. And as mentioned before, don't like the formula. The colors are beautiful. So I'm not going to keep this one. Oh, it's a lot more brown than I thought. Oh, okay. So maybe this should have gone into the mauve category, but it's just, you know, I don't like the formula, so I'm not going to keep this one here around. So I'm going to declutter this one. So in this category, I'm going to declutter two and I'm going to keep four. So this is the last category that I have for today. These are more of my blue tone, blue based red lipsticks, and these are more of the orangey reds. So let's start with these ones here. This one here is from Maybelline. It's from their Superstay 24 color line and it's in the shade, I don't know. Okay, so this one here is in the shade Red Passion and it's one where you apply this side first. And it's more of a liquid one that you have to build up quite a bit. So I don't like this one a lot, but I don't wanna, I don't know. I'm not sure if I wanna declutter it. I think I'm going to keep it for now and just try it out a bit more. So when it's dried down, then you apply this more clear topper to keep your lips a bit more moisturized. So it has these two sides here. It stays put pretty well, but I don't like the applicator because it's so liquid. I don't know. Sometimes when I apply it, I get like a darker line. I don't know if you know what I mean. It's a bit weird. And it's not my favorite, but you know, I'm hanging on to it. I want to try it out a bit more and maybe I need it if I really want to have a red that stays put during a dinner or something, then maybe I would like to wear this one. So I'm going to keep it. This one here from Colourpop was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. It's in the shade Lucky Star. I think it's discontinued now. So I think I have enough reds in my collection. I never wear it, so I'm going to declutter this one. This one here is from Essence again. It's in the shade I Dare You. Again, I don't like the formula, so I'm not going to keep this one. This one here is from Wet n Wild. It's a beautiful shade. It's called Missy and Fierce. So you know what I think about this formula, don't like to reapply it because then it looks kind of weird, but if you don't reapply it, it looks beautiful. If you want to just wear this when you know you don't have to reapply it, then it's beautiful. So because I like the color so much, I want to keep it around. This one here is from Morphe, it's called Hot Shot, so now we are venturing more into the orange based reds. So this color here is very unique to my collection and I don't have a lot of orange, orangey red colors and I do like the Morphe formula so much that I want to keep this one here. So then the next one here is from Ofra. It, the shade is called Venice. This is more like an orange than actually like a red. Maybe I should have swatched it together with Revere. So it's a very bright, almost neony orange color on me. As you can see, this one is more red, this one is more orange. So I think for now I'm going to keep it. I don't wear it a lot. Oranges, 
as mentioned before. They don't look good on me, but if I ever want to wear an orange, it could happen someday, who knows. So I just want to keep it around. And then this one is from Pixie. You have seen it in my recent haul. It's in the shade orange red and it's exactly what it is. It's more of like a corally red, I would say. Not too much orangey red. And it's a very bright, almost neon color on me. You know, on me, just everything looks very bright. So that's why I always call it like a neony color because it's so bright on me. So on other skin tones, it might look a lot different, but on me, it's very, very bright. So it actually is a beautiful formula. I really do like these liquid lipsticks from Pixi and I do also want to keep this one here. So I'm going to keep five and I'm going to declutter two of them. So in this box here, I do have everything that I'm going to declutter and I'm so glad that I did this declutter today because my lipstick collection got kind of out of hand a bit and I just knew I tried so many different lipsticks in the last year and years and I just didn't get rid of a lot of them and there were so many older ones that I just didn't use and they kind of just added clutter to my collection and I'm so glad that I I've gone through them now with you together and I've decided what to keep and what not because it feels so much more manageable now and I do love lipstick so it's one of my favorite categories I think it's eyeshadows and then lipsticks because I love them so so much and I still wear them I know we have to wear masks a lot and I just wear lipstick when I'm at home because I love them so much and it just makes me happy when I go by you know a mirror or something and I see myself wearing lipstick I, it just makes me feel a bit more happy and it just helps kind of lift up my mood so so I do still try to use my lipsticks and I try to reach for them and I do love bright colors for the summer and springtime and because we are going into spring now it really feels good to wear a bit more color on my lips so this declutter really helped me to just reach for the ones that I truly love more so I hope that you enjoyed today's video I hope that you found it helpful that the swatches might help you by deciding if you want to get a lipstick or you're looking for a certain shade or formula let me know down below in the comments if you want to try anything that I've mentioned or if you have some other liquid lipstick recommendations for me especially because I love liquid lipsticks so I always want to try new formulas and see kind of what's also good because I haven't tried that many different brands and I want to venture out a bit more. I've just ordered one from Shui, so I'm very excited for this one. I ordered it on Beauty Bay so it should be here in a week or so and it's a pinky nude. Who would have guessed? So I'm very excited for that one and if you have any recommendations let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all so so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day.